Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumen channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the VitaCore Can 99. This mass review was requested through Reddit so thank you guys once again for giving us suggestions and also all of your feedback is greatly appreciated. Here is the listing. We purchased them from the actual manufacturer's website and as I mentioned these are the can 99e ear loop mask they come in a pack of 10 for 24.99 making them two dollars and 49 cents each the listing doesn't have any ratings or reviews these are actually the second canadian mask that we've reviewed so far the first ones had the words n95 in the SKU, but they weren't legit NIOSH approved and any fives. We are completely sure if Canada has any standards for respirators. I'm sure that there is. So if any of you guys know those standards, please let us know in the comment section below. So according to some research we did on the website, VitaCore created this mask called Can 99. It is a trademark. So basically what they're trying to say is that these are the Canadian version of N99, which is an American standard claimed to be greater than or equal to 99% filtration. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check these respirators out. This is how they look. It also has the Canadian print on the top of the mask and the nose wire seems to be a bit short compared to other respirators we've tested so far. So let's go ahead and try it on. These are maybe a medium to large fit because they are a bit loose on me. The construction quality is actually quite nice. It is thinner than the 3M Aurora. The nose wire is not the strongest and I am getting quite a bit of a leakage throughout the whole phase. I'm getting leakage on the sides and a little bit on the chin. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of leakage on these sides of the mask. You're not really going to get the same seal as you would if you're wearing like a, the headband respirators. And like I said, these are a bit large on my face, so maybe that's why I'm getting so much leakage. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the ear loop bands from the mask before placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is an attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on a TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 97.88% with a pressure drop of 11.2 millimeters of water. Second sample had a filtration percentage of 97.57 and had a pressure drop of 10.2 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 97.83 and had a pressure drop of 10.8 millimeters of water. Overall, the mask construction quality is quite nice. As I mentioned, they were also pretty breathable. When it comes to the filtration, they actually did not meet the claim they made on their packaging. Every sample we tested, tested under 99%. Ultimately, because of the results, we wouldn't really say we can recommend these masks, but in terms of N99, they don't meet those standard requirements. But as I mentioned, we're not really aware of the Canadian standards, but my advice is just to be cautious of the mask that you're purchasing and just try to go with legitimate N95 respirators. 
I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what masters to test next or just any other content that you'd like to see in our channel in the comment section below. We also have a lot of important information in the description box like our website which is acumed.com and our master testing data sheet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in our next video.